What's going on, Pamper Gang and YouTube world? It's the boy with the Pampers and the Toys, Al, reporting from Paradise. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, the boy with the Pampers and the Toys. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe to your family, your friends, and all of your enemies. And um, also check out my Twitter, my Instagram accounts, the boy with the Pampers and the Toys. And, you know, we just upload, 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 upload. And today is going to be a uh, great day. Let me turn my fan around. Ooh, it's a little hot in here. I refuse to cut off my air. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be talking about um, G.I. Joe Classified Series um, today. And today we're going to be talking about the one and only, the younger version of Stuart Outback Selkirk. He is number 63. And, um, you know, I'm kind of glad they're adding photos at the bottom because the artwork I'm not too fond of. And I don't like the box, um, the closed box that Hasbro presents with these figures. So let's get him open and see what's going on. And I'm going to be comparing him to other figures as well, too. So this is my first time having the younger version of Stuart Outback. Because on the other one I talked about on my other video, he was a lot older. Maybe he had aged in the wild. I don't know. But, you know, they give everybody this box of weapons of choice. And I, I need to start showing a barcode in my videos. So, now I know I had some scissors over here. Okay. Y'all didn't hear all of that. <laughs> so, with that being said... Let's get this bad boy open. All right. So before I show the figure off, I always try to like uh, show his accessories that he comes with. And let's see what all the goodies he got. And like I said, if you want to keep these, you can keep these. I just don't have no use for them. Some people keep them, you know, to put weapons in, but I just feel like they don't collect dust and all of that. Alrighty. So the usual, Stuart comes with this nice old, um, looks like a silencer, a machine gun. But he got the, you see the tape wrapped around the handle. I need to get some tweezers so I can like show the whole weapon instead of my big old hand. Cause I know how I film my videos. I actually, real quick, not trying to jump off topic. I'm thinking about starting doing my videos frontwards so you can see the figure and the toy actually not me. But I'm so used to sh showing me the video, this is a habit. So as you can see, going back to the figure and the uh, accessories it comes with, that handgun, looks like it could be a machine gun, a uh, silencer, I'm not really familiar with the gun types. Now I know that um, Stewart did have these weapons as well too. He had the same weapon with the older figure that he has. Not older, but the age and older man figure. Then next, you know, you, it ain't a G.I. Joe without a backpack connected to the back. It's not a G.I. Joe without a backpack connected to the back. Okay. So he does come with a shovel, which it's pretty much the same weapons that he came with in the other figures. He does have this knife right here. You know, the knife looks really good. So just showing that. And um, he has a flashlight as well. So, you know, if the man's in the wild, he's gonna have to see. Okay. So, now let's talk about the figure. So this is kind of the same figure, but a different color. And I'm kind of, from what I see, um, I'm trying to see if I, if I see anything that stands out. Okay, because I know in a lot of other videos, I've seen this figure, uh, they talked about it. Like the hair color, the red color was smudged onto the bandana. And I don't think that the people at the warehouse didn't take their time to paint the figure correctly but i don't really i see maybe 
a little speck of red right here on like on his ear part right here. You really can't see because I know how my camera is. But it's not really bad. They could have painted. They missed some paint right here with the hair. A little bit. It's like a piece. The hair looks like the skin color. So they kind of sloppy on this figure as well too. But I'm like, hey, bro, we paying all this money to keep y'all in business. Y'all got to give us good products but i will say that hasbro has gotten a lot better with the quality of articulation with these figures so let's go and talk about it i'm not really too fond of the i guess it's supposed to be hair his hair is red right here that grows out so you know again he is in the wild and you have to think about all of that so articulations pretty dope can't get mad about articulation. I do like the outfit. I like the survival um, shirt and the pants. He's got a lot of things for his weapons of choice. Now, there's something about this figure that's a little off to me. And it's, I'm going to show the other one as well, too, compare and contrast it. That groove right here is something about that groove of the thigh boot cut right here. Uh, it looks like it's, I don't know, they just need a, it's kind of like it's indented. I don't know. Maybe it's because how he is shaped. I don't know. But I know in my other one, I had a problem lifting his leg up. And it seems like it's the same problem. Like, it feels like his leg, is it can come off real easy because of the ball point. The ball joints right here. And um, so that's a problem that never fixed. This is just basically a repainted figure of the old one. But let's go ahead and start putting his weapons in his, um, where they belong at. So the flashlight goes, I put the, um, handgun, well, you know, the hand machine gun right here, his little holster. The flashlight goes right here with them two little slots right here. Okay, so that's how far I can get the flashlight down. I'm trying to see, okay, his backpack. And you know, he's got like a belt right here as well. But let me get into the head, the movement of the head. The head goes up and down, a little wobbly, a little rangity, but it ain't nothing you can't deal with. He has pinless double jointed elbows, but um, his arms don't raise up a certain way. Well, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm, not, I'm lying. But be careful trying to push it back because you can break his arm. Especially this arm right here. This arm doesn't push all the way back like this one does. This one's perfect. Um, that chest area is perfect, as always. The paint is a little me looking at it real good. The hair paint is a little sloppy on here because when you look underneath the green um, bandana, headband, whatever you call it, they didn't color underneath this part right here. That's why I can't wait to upgrade my camera system so I can show you Pampa Gang and YouTube World things I'll be talking about in these figures. So... Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and put this right. Uh oh, we got a problem, Houston. Well, it's kind of, usually like when you put that backpack in the back of the whole part, every GI, it's not a GI Joe without the whole part of the back right here. So you can put the backpack in. This doesn't really, you got to push it all the way in there, but it still hangs out. So that's not a plus at all. So this backpack's liable to fall off anytime. See, I'm going to show you. I'm not able to push it all the way in that part, so this is gonna be falling off. So there's gonna be some points taken off. 
And then next, we have his, his machine gun that he has. Uh, so as you can see, and um, there's a part right here for his knife as well too on his foot area. So his knife right here goes down there. So the shovel, I will assume the shovel, there's really nowhere you could put the shovel on thing. Yeah, yes it is, yes it is. On the backpack, I wasn't thinking. The figure's not terrible, it's just a repaint of the old one. And um, I get it, because he's a lot young on here. So here's the other figure I talk about. Well, look, that backpack definitely fell off. So I think that had a problem too that maybe I talked about in the video. I can't really remember. Yeah, the backpack doesn't hold up too well. So as you can see, this is Stuart. This, he looks, the head scope, face scope is a little different. So he's aged on here. On here, he's a younger version of himself. So let's see how much this man has aged when standing side by side. Cause this is the Tiger Force version right here. So. Well. Oh Lord. Lordy, lordy. The backpack just won't stay on. I tried, gang. I tried. That's The leg problem was the problem I had with that one. So, let's see. So, they look about the same size. And, um, really not much of a difference. It's the same the face is a little different. Like, they made his face a little older. Like, you know, you age when you get older. I, I totally get it. I give this figure a 9.5 out of a 10. I just took off the points because it's a repaint. And it was kind of sloppy with the hair and the bandana. And, um... It's just basically a repaint of the older figure. Now, I want to compare and contrast some other figures with this one. Here's Bazooka. Bazooka's a lot bigger than, um, Stewart. Bazooka's a big guy. So, standing at him that side by side, Bazooka's way much bigger than him. Then next, let's do a female character. Lady J. I need to get a ruler. That's what I need to do next time. I'm going to buy a ruler because I'm going to start like measuring my figures to see how, how far they... Um, They stand up. So, right there, there's Lady J next to him, and Lady J side by side. Just showing you, comparing and contrasting. Then next, let's do a Snake Eyes movie figure. So, Snake Eyes is a lot smaller than Stewart. So, one thing I appreciate about Hasbro is that they're giving all the Joes their own body type, as well as their Marvel Legends. So, the figure I paid $25 for him at Target. I don't, I think that these figures should be about 20 bucks. They take off $5 because ooh, inflation's high now. So, I, um, I would say get them to add in your collection. You can have two stewards, the older version. And you can tell them from apart because this one does look a lot different than the younger one. Definitely. So, I would like to thank all my um, friends for subscribing to my YouTube channel, The Boy with the Pampers and the Toys. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Boy with the Pampers and the Toys. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to your family, your friends, and your enemies. And also follow my um, Twitter and Instagram accounts, The Boy with the Pampers and the Toys. And everyone, enjoy your day. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your day.